I'm going to do my best to tackle this question in our short video, but first I want to recommend that you get our Baking Illustrated cookbook. Uh, this is where we've done a lot of research and testing on high altitude baking, uh, even as far as going out to Golden, Colorado at 5,600 feet elevation and testing some of our favorite test kitchen recipes at a high altitude. Um, so disclaimer aside, to sum things up, um, the most sensitive recipes we found with high altitude baking involved leaveners and a lot of sugar or both. Um, we found that also with quick breads, they tend to rise really fast in the oven, often before their structure has time to set, causing them to collapse, which will lead to a dense and gummy texture. Um, so a, t a couple of problems that might come up when you're baking at high altitudes and some troubleshooting tips would be uh, for pie dough or biscuit dough. So if you are rolling out your pie dough and it's seeming really dry, uh, we would recommend adding a couple tablespoons of water to your dough. Sometimes a little moisture is all you need to help uh, smooth things out. With quick breads, if you find that your muffins are collapsing on top of each other, I would recommend about a quarter teaspoon less leavener next time. Um, also with, uh, with cookies, so if they're spreading out a lot in the oven and they're turning out very dry and crisp, when you're going for a chewy cookie, try reducing the sugar by about a quarter cup. Uh, the less sugar, the less they're going to spread in the oven. Uh, if that's still not working, uh, I would recommend increasing your oven temperature by about 25 degrees and decreasing the time you bake them. So basically the less time they spend in the oven, the less they'll dry out. If that still doesn't work, uh, about an, one egg yolk or one, one egg in your dough next time would probably do the trick. Um, so I know this is just the tip of the iceberg, uh, but I really hope this helps and good luck with your own high altitude baking experiments.